channel. My name is Martine, and if you are new here, I do videos on Vedic astrology mainly, but also with some tropical insights, and I focus on both relationship and natal astrology. And if you like this video and you would like to hear more content from me, please like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell to see when I will post a new video, and also if you're interested in a personal consultation, I do consultations on a wide variety of topics, please check out the video description. I will leave my contact information there. Thank you. So today's video is going to be in continuation with the Descendant Through Sign series and it is going to be on Descendant in Cancer or the seventh house in Cancer and what that shows about your potential partner. So once again, as an introduction, I will be looking at general personality of the spouse or long-term partner, um, or uh, and also things like what their potential profession might be, potential things that will make them happy and keep them happy in a relationship, the potential gifts that you might give them, and also, last but not least, physical appearance, okay? And also, of course, uh, as a disclaimer, this is a general description, so if you want to get a really in-depth understanding of your spouse archetype, um, you can do so in a um, personal consultation, or you can also check out all of the videos that I have posted in my partner archetype playlist and to get more detailed descriptions of your partner archetype as described by your horoscope. Okay, so getting into it. So, seventh house in Cancer shows that your spouse will be sensitive, empathetic, nurturing, very imaginative, at times very introverted, and can be really moody. Now, as you might know, Cancer is ruled by the moon, so this is probably the most feminine energy out there. Even if you are a woman, if you have your seventh house in Cancer, chances are that you will find a husband or a long-term partner um, that matches this general description. So this person on the plus will be someone who is very family-oriented, someone who really loves to spend time with uh, with children as well. Although not just particularly children, even just doing things around the house are things that are going to make this person happy spending time with family. Um, they will love to spend a lot of time, you know, making the home base as comfortable as possible. Uh, they might actually be interested in things like interior decoration, whether as a profession or as a hobby. Um, another thing is that they could be um, into real estate, they could be into um, even things like vehicles, so any form of vehicle, but especially things like a boat or a car. Not so much air traffic, but um, basically, yeah, because the fourth house in Cancer also rules vehicles in Vedic astrology, so this could be also a person who is very interested in having a nice car or is going to take care of their car just as well as they take care of their home. Okay, um... Another thing to say is they will love to be by the sea or any kind of sea-related activities or water activities. Um, they will love that. So if you're considering, you know, things that will make them happy, taking a trip by the sea, going on vacation somewhere by the sea, those are definitely things that are going to make them happy. Another thing is just um, anything connected to symbolisms connected to the sea. So if this is a woman, of course, they will love things like pearls and seashells and, you know, anything that kind of reminds them of the sea and fluid things. So in terms of, for instance, fashion, they will love like, you know, flowy textiles. Um, they will love comfortable um, things, but especially fluid stuff. So I don't know, silk, like satin, that kind of stuff. They will enjoy these kinds of um, clothes that give off this really flowy kind of feel. And potential, so also in line with the potential gifts that you can give them and things that you want to do to make them happy. These are definitely people that will need a lot of affection to be happy. Uh, again, regardless of gender, this is a person who needs to needs regular displays of affection in order to be happy, okay? 
uh, since this is possibly the most emotional descendant, the most emotional sign, actually. And uh, so the spouse will love, you know, cuddling and all that stuff. They will love to just cuddle in front of the television or whatever. Um, so any kind of like physical touch and all that stuff, they will really enjoy that. So if you don't provide it regularly, they might start to feel neglected. Um, you know, don't say I didn't tell you. Um, <laughs> another thing is they also are extremely imaginative. So they will love all kinds of things to do with fantasy activities, okay? Whether you're talking about um, something like cosplay or fantasy role playing or something or just reading books. Like these are definitely the type of people who will be crazy about Lord of the Rings. Um, <laughs> um, and just any kind of, um, or Harry Potter, um, any kind of uh, fantasy work, you know, you know, in terms of, especially in terms of literature, movies, even video games and stuff. So these are things that they will be interested in naturally. Um, and of course, like I mentioned, since this is the sign that is ruled that it corresponds to the home base and vehicles they will enjoy and appreciate anything to do with their home or their vehicles okay so as gifts things like interior decorations you know the works or maybe books on feng shui or stuff like that they will appreciate that another thing that you want to watch out for is because like i mentioned at the beginning this is a really moody sign um, it will be sometimes a little bit difficult to anticipate what they need or what kind of mood they're in, especially since when they're unhappy, they will tend to retreat in their shell. So you kind of have to feel like um, you have to pull the words out, uh, you know, with, I don't know, with the forceps um, out because they will not, um, you know, if they become sad, that's their tendency. They will become introverted and you know introverted and just in their heads so something that you have to consider is you have to be really patient with these people definitely don't make them feel um, criticized or pressured because that's just gonna make them feel even more um, you know introverted and kind of even defensive so that's something you have to consider again this is the kind of person that you will um, appease if you treat them gently as much as possible okay and let me think what else right in terms of professions once again this could be a person who is involved with anything to do with uh, the home or with creating homes so uh, real estate of any kind they could be involved in real estate of any kind also to do with vehicles so they could be someone working I don't know they could be truck drivers <laughs> um, anything to do with vehicles um, is also a potential line of work of course the restaurant business the um, the hotel business and anything to do with imagination so of course this could be a wide variety of artistry but you would have to look at other placements if you want more specific details about which arts they might be into. Um, so like for instance, I don't know if you see Mercury here connected to the seventh house, this could be a writer, um, could be, you know, creating some kind of imaginative literary works or blogs or whatever it is, or they could be writing a food blog. Um, you know these kinds of things so but it depends or they could be painters they could be anything they could be in any form of imaginative profession but you would have to look at more specific um, placements to see exactly what they're into but yeah so this is with regards to professions and also of course they could also be in any profession to do with the with women um, they could also be working into in the same line of work as their mothers or their mother figures or they could actually be working with their mother but again usually for these kinds of specific things you would have to see other placements as well so this is with respect to what kind of professions they might be into 
And oh, another thing with professions, they could also be just in anything to do with fluids, okay? Um, I don't know, the dairy business, for instance, but um, fluids, but not so much alcohol or tobacco. That's more of a Rahu thing. But again, if you have Rahu in the seventh house in Cancer, they could be into the alcohol business <laughs> or something, tobacco something. Okay. Um, with respect to... With respect to physical appearance, okay, so this these people will tend towards a more fair complexion, of course, with respect to their genetic background, they will tend towards the more fair side of their uh, genetic inheritance, so aside from that, they can also tend to be a little bit plump because this is, uh, well, the moon is the influence of, you know, the stomach and eating and all that. So this could be um, definitely a person who can tend to be a little bit plump and um, height, I would say, towards short, towards average height, again, considering the genetic inheritance. And um, they will tend to have plump lips. That's another thing. They will tend to have rather wide faces. And the eyes can tend to appear, how do you call it, wide, um, wide set, right? So, yeah, that, those are potential physical characteristics. Aside from that, again, if this is a woman, the, she's definitely going to be very feminine looking. If this is a man, he will also tend to be not necessarily feminine, but he will come across as a person who is quite sensitive and... Um, you know, very much a family person. Okay, so this has been pretty much it. And once again, I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, please like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell to see when I will post a new video. And also, thank you for watching the ads and please continue to do so to support my channel for free. And once again, if you're interested in a personal consultation, I do consultations on a wide variety of topics. Please check out the video description. I will leave my contact information there. Thank you.